everyone, this is JB again from JB Express. Um, just currently building out the JB Express website so we can start sharing some of the stuff um, in one place uh, rather than across different networks. Um, but today, is, as I have been doing, I've been creating uh, a new header for the website, uh, which you can see here. And one of the things I've been getting into is content uh, and especially off canvas content models. So, what I've created is a content form. Uh, sorry, contact form off the back of this button. So if I click on this button now, you'll see contact form comes out from the right hand side. So I'm going to show you how to build that now. It's fairly straightforward. In this case, it's using the short code, as you can imagine, from a contact seven form, which I've created here. Um, and then uh, from there, I go into the header builder, which currently has nothing in there because uh, I'm using the test held header currently. And then in this container, I'm going to create this a, a content area off canvas. I'm going to let it load in. You'll see it up here. Uh, when I click on it, up this comes. This goes black. Um, quite a nice effect. It's quite cool, actually. And what I've done here, this is the off canvas content. So if I click on this, this is what you can see here. So we can change that and use any HTML uh, or any um, code to um, create something new. So what I've done is I've copied and pasted the um, content from here. Um, and I'm just going to copy and paste it in now so that you can see the change. And as you can see, here's my form um, in place. I'm probably going to take part of this out from the, from the end one so that it fits on the one page. But this gives you the perfect idea of how to create off canvas areas using buttons in your header. Then I would go from there, I would go to the toggle being this. So the toggle being this particular part, I would then do whatever changes I wanted to make. Um, as you can see on the new site, uh, I've changed the colors and have them uh, changing as I roll over them, uh, for example. And then, of course, you can go into the off canvas area itself. So if I open that up, the majority of your colors are here. So I could change the content background to be gray. For um, I could change the overlay background, which is this part here, um, to the blue, for example, as I've done on my own. And then if I click here, bang. And that's what we get. So that's how to create um, off canvas content area modals.